All right, you guys, this is a 96 K1500 four-wheel drive Suburban. I'm going to show you how to take out the lock cylinder key without doing all this bullshit mumbo-jumbo. These guys got you pulling steering wheels, airbags, shrouds. You don't have to take any of that shit off. This AAA auto and all this nonsense, idiots. It's this easy to do. All you need is a tape measure, which is right here, your key, and something to push in. I'm going to use a nail, which is right here. i got to film this at the same time while I'm doing this, so uh, hopefully the camera doesn't get all out of whack, but I'll show you how to do this. It's really, really easy. All you have to do is drill a hole in the top of this shroud to get to the pin to release it. You can see I made it right here. It doesn't matter. It's no, no big deal. Nobody's going to steal your truck because you're still going to need the key to remove the lock cylinder anyway. So drilling this tiny little hole doesn't do anything. All it does is get you inside the hole to push down on it so you can release it. And you don't have to take this shroud off. You don't have to take the airbag, the steering wheel, none of that bullshit off. You do have to remove the negative battery terminal still because you will be turning the key to where you turn and the car does start to push the pin in. Then you release it back to run and it'll slide right out. I've already replaced mine, but it's this easy to do. Get your tape measure, roll it out. I'm going to pull mine out about 10 inches, which is overkill. Put it against your hazard flasher. I'm going to turn mine on. You'll see the start to blink right here. Run it parallel with the face of this. Sorry, this thing right here. Your steering, it just has to be parallel with this. Measure out from that, parallel with that. And then all you have to do is drill a hole at four and a quarter inches out parallel with the face of this. From that, drill that hole, four and a quarter inches. Turn your key to start, push the button in, put it to run, and you can pull the cylinder out. Just the one, the other one to put back in, you do not need the pen anymore. Then you just take your new one, put it in the, the same run position with key in, shove it in a lock in place, turn it back, connect your battery terminal, and you're done. Do not take all this bullshit off like these guys are, these guys are telling you to do. Get yourself a nail, get yourself a tape measure, four and a quarter inches, It'll come right out. No need to take anything else off your truck. This works for Ventures, Luminas, any of your later model Chevys. I hope this helps you guys. I hate you seeing you take all this extra shit off just to replace a lock cylinder. You don't need any Torx bolts. You don't need any special star wrench bullshit key stuff. Do it this way. I guarantee it works. Good luck. Goodbye.